Hi all, welcome back to our Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. Yeah, as you can see, we have done, or I have done a lot of things. Uh, increased my house a couple of floors with uh, some new tile textures. I just wanted to see how it looks. So, yeah, this is the uh, granite, and this is uh, this here is um, ebon block and ebon block wall, ebon brick wall and ebon bricks. Uh, this one over here, the doors is granite. Uh, so yeah, and in my adventure, you can probably already tell I've been out fishing, and uh, I I haven't been fishing that much in uh, Terraria 1.2 or any of those updates, so I don't know which of these fish is actually new, but I've never in my wildest dreams seen a frozen dagger fish or a bomb fish. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that this bomb fish here is exactly the same as a normal bomb um, that you can combine with gel and make a sticky bomb out of it. Uh, the frozen dagger fish is, I don't know, it must be pretty damn cool. Uh, it does give quite a lot of damage. Uh, 17 throw damage, 9 crit, and a very fast attack speed, so yeah. Cool. I'm not gonna use, uh, not gonna use a ton of them because, um, I have come to realize that the biome we have found down here underneath the desert biome, is now uh, called a new, um, um, it's the ant lion or ant mound biome underneath the desert biome. But on, uh, in here, there are tons of fossils that we can actually use. Uh, for example, right up here, I have the blown up with bombs uh, a big chunk of fossils up here. But at the point in time, my uh, sharp platinum pickaxe is not strong enough to mine out fossils. Because, uh, but yeah, that sucks because fossils can actually be built into a fossilized army. You can actually build a <laughs> dinosaur army. That's pretty damn cool. Which actually is a new class because throwing ability is now a new class. Uh, throwing damage uh, is apparently been implemented, and that fossilized armor gives bonus to throwing damage. I mean. All manner of javelins and stuff like that. As you can see here, I got a massive amount of javelins. So yeah, getting that armor might just give us the edge on the Eye of Cthulhu. Yes, that is true. I have not yet killed the Eye of Cthulhu just yet. Even though I have played quite a lot. Of, uh, quite a lot. As you can see here, I am terraforming my, <laughs> my um, area out here. And you can see I died uh, uh, yeah, almost an hour ago because I was fishing out here. But yeah, I've been terraforming this. All of this here is uh, dirt, first stone, uh, first dirt here, then stone, and then dirt again. Uh, I'm going to be uh, building down to right above the waterline here, or a little bit above the waterline, maybe just here. But I'm going to take all of this. This is a um, uh, um, winter biome background right here. I'm going to take all that away and uh, put in the normal background like this down here. So I'm going to terraform all of this into... Um, uh, normal biome, normal tree biome and hills biome instead of uh, frost biome and winter biome. Oh uh, yeah, but it uh, yeah a tombstone there and there's a tombstone on behind there. Um, yeah, but if there is a surplus of tombstone, I've also f figured out that there can actually become a graveyard biome. That is right. Um, if you uh, if we were to in a normal biome like we have here. Uh, dig down a little hole and then just have a massive of, of amount of tombstones uh, dotted all over all around. It will become a graveyard biome and skeletons will spawn very rapidly there. So that's something you could probably do. But yeah, um, this is my new uh, arena. It has been extended quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, before it was only to here, these uh, small ones right here, and all of these here are banners. All these. This green the stuff here is banners, and uh, I don't know what I've uh, gotten. Let me show you. I've also figured out that um, these sunflowers things here 
are the ones that give us this buff, the happy buff. Movement speed increased and monster spawn reduced. And I figured out the length between these two right here. So, at this point where the sunflower is right behind me, this sunflower over here wouldn't give me the buff. But having a sunflower right on the edge uh, makes them uh, uh, overlap each other. And I have tons of sunflowers, so I can just place them as the grass grows on this part right here. So, I am uh, maybe debating or thinking of maybe even taking away a... Um, yeah, a platform here, a, st uh, a stretch of platform here, uh, so there is a, so there's a little bit more because when you use the, um, uh, the, uh, the grappling hook you can actually gain momentum uh, and get away from the Eye of Cthulhu. And as I found a new thing, I don't know if it's new or um, what, but I've never tried it myself. If you're down in the underground and stuff like that, and you have made a door, and uh, it's right above lava, you can actually hook onto the door, you've always been able to do that, but if you open the door, you actually get pushed forward quite a bit. So, hook onto the door, open it, and you get wham. Uh, it's because it's like you're slamming open the door or something like that. Okay. So, let us... Uh, Okay, we got a shine potion from that. Some platinum ore from, from that one. Ooh, we got a healing potion and platinum uh, or tungsten bars. Hardy, what? No way! We got the turtle mount! <laughs> no freaking way! And. Masturbate? Ooh! This is what we're gonna use to summon um, uh, Duke Fisseron. We're gonna use this bait to summon Duke Fisseron. But dude, we got the turtle mount! Oh, I can't even get off it. Okay, and uh, we can put this mount thingy, bam, in here. The, ca the Cavalier has arrived, okay? And yeah, if this one would please go away, thank you. Controls, quick heal, buff, mount R. Okay, he's not the quick, he's uh, actually the slowest mount we, we got, but it is cool, we got the turtle mount. I do believe he can swim. The turtle mount can swim, can he? Okay, uh. Let's go in and check it out. As you can see, it's very easy to swim with a turtle mount. Ow. Oh well. That's a... Bamboozle home. Okay, so... Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um... So, default uh, turret amount uh, taken up is the R button. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, cool. Um, we need to make... Uh, we need to make one of those pots type deal. Let me see here. Uh, can we make a pot of some sort? Uh, let us see over here. Okay, well, we got a little bit of wood and stuff. Let me just take some wood and open this one. Yeah, there we go. Cooking pot. That's the one we need. Put it right here. And with that cooking pot next to us, look at this. Look at this. Cooked fish. Cooked fish. Uh, bass. Athletic bass. Oh, Damn, and it gives us a 20 minute buff, dudes. Nice. And we actually gain another one in a uh, cool. And also, I've gotten, uh, I bought the um, armor, the uh, instead of the uh, 
the G armor here, I bought the equivalent of the magic armor. So if I had the hat on, oh, wait a minute, nothing on, the Medusa head gives 34 magic damage. Hat on, 36. This one, also 36. But we increase our mana with the, uh, yeah, and reduced mana cost. Now it's four, goes, goes down to three. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna lock those in place. And I've bought a bow as well. Because uh, the people I've seen on the interwebs um, actually used bow against the Eye of Cthulhu. And they had less health and less armor than I do. I got 20 armor now. Uh, just because of that buff there. And it's 20 minute buff. So that's cool as fuck. Okay. Put that away. Frozen fish. I don't know what the heck we can use with this, but we can. Let's see. Frozen fish. Warmth potion reduces damage from cold sources. Okay, cool. And what about the f huh? Equipable increased jumps in jump speed and allows auto jump increase fall resistance. So okay, um. And allows auto jump. So when you're running and there's a jump, it jumps over it. Okay, let's see here. This one gives me two in defense. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Oh, apparently not. I'm pressing jump when it jumps. It doesn't auto jump. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that guy. He's actually climbing up the wall? What the bloody hell? Oh well, uh, and allows for auto jump. I don't know where auto jump is. Ah, shit. I am not sure I can take you right now, dude. That depends. Sorry, guys. Coming through with the eye. Maybe I can. Damn. Whoa! I didn't know I had that potion. Try something out here, guys. Oh, shit. That was the wrong place.
He hasn't gotten us yet, but he's about to. Ah, damn it. Get him. I think we could get him. That's better. Thanks to Medusa head here. Six, uh, 36 damage. <laughs> My heart is pounding like a mile an hour right now, dudes. <sighs> we did it. We got the f son of a bitch. Oh, simply because we had the these buffs going with speed and stuff like that. <sighs> Treasure bags. We didn't even get to do the uh, tossing of the fish, but what the hell. Okay, treasure bag. <sighs> what do we get? <laughs> Dude, let's uh, go home and let's... Spike shield of Cthulhu. 31 melee damage. Sorry. 6% critical strike chance. Very strong knockback. Equipable. Two defense allows the player to dash into enemies. Double check the direction you want to dash. Okay, cool. What? Huh? Oh! <laughs> he tosses bombs. Okay, it's a cool thing that it didn't it can't do any damage to our uh, facility. But yeah. I like the jump factor. Do we get damage from this height? No, we don't. Okay, four. Thank you. One. We got the first boss on expert mode, guys. <laughs> okay. So where should I equip this thing? Um, I want the boots for speed. Two defense uh, slowly regenerates health. I want this one. I want the double jump. And this one too, so this one is gonna go. Oh, look at that! We got the shield! And let's test it out. Sorry, bunny. Smack. I wish there was a button you could just push. And I don't get any damage whatsoever. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, without the buff. Without the buffs on. Well, we only got this buff on here. Let, let's take that one away. We have 10 in defense, guys. Okay, and this one. It's only, it's only giving us 2 in defense. And we got that here. Nope. Ah, we don't. We have 2 more damage. Okay, and this one is still 2% more damage. Expert has arrived. Ah, cool. And because it's expert mode, uh, the name of it uh, starts blinking and stuff like that. That's so cool. Woo! The yellow one. I don't think I have that one. Every time he's come, I've uh, bought the uh, counterweights. 
because whoops <laughs> sorry pony <laughs> i didn't mean to do that uh because i am trying uh i'm trying to make the uh uh let's see where are you here we go there are five different colors of counterweights in all and this one is apparently the best one uh we have until now so yeah uh i was actually not um Damn, I love the jump height and stuff like that. Oh, well, uh, I was uh, not thinking that we were going to take on the boss today and killing him, but we did. So let's move on. Um, oh, it's because I have... I got the uh, gravitation potion. I was like, what? Okay, let's put the gravitation potion down here. Look at all these potions we already have. We have got tons and tons of potions. Which I didn't take any off, but we could have taken iron skin regeneration, but we got him. With the only with only our bare freaking stuff. Ooh, corruption sheet, nice. Put these down here. Unholy arrows. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna sell these snowballs. What the heck can we use them for anyway? Fish uh fish gonna go in our bait and tackle. Anything that has to do with fishing is gonna go into our bait and tackle here. This one is gonna go down here for, because those we're gonna use for ca uh, catching um yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Duke Fitz run when we come to it. Uh, cool. Zombie banner. Frey the Dryad has arrived. Oh, she is a badass. Hello, Frey. And we are gonna get... We're gonna... Uh, oh, I can only... We're gonna buy... Do you know what? We're gonna buy ten of these. Blink... Oh, yeah, we're gonna buy one of these. These are some special planter boxes. Uh, dirt rod, sunflowers, grass seeds, purification powder. You know what? I'm gonna buy that. Thank you, Freya. I'm gonna help this grass here out, uh, out along a bit. Oh, shit. There we go. That should help it uh, grow a little bit faster out here. Uh, yeah, let me just show you the... Oh. I like that none of the items, none of the items despawn anymore, guys. All items that are on the floor and stuff like that you can pick up, you can leave it there forever and ever. And uh, nothing... Uh, and nothing despawns anymore. Um, I have said it so that uh, usually it's just. Um, hey, has he already gone up here? I don't know. Where is she? Oh, they're st st standing and talking down here. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let us go down here. I'm actually thinking of uh, making th uh, this one a little bit bigger here, guys. Uh, you know what? Let's just. For now. Go and let's just plant this box here for now. Oh, what the hell? Was that it? Was that little sliver the one? I, I don't think so. I think it's because uh, something happened with the wall here. Let's do that for now and. Uh, we should have. What do I have it somewhere else? No. Uh, there we go. Woodfall. Cool. Let's get the hammer out. Okay. There we go. And wall. I love this auto place of the walls. So amazing. go let's see so it is just this one okay cool can I plant a uh... no I can't mm -hmm. apparently it has to be done outside that's a okay with me come on in 
I'm gonna pick this one up. Yeah, and then we're gonna plant them out here. Two, three, two. Thank you. Ah, they uh, have to be a certain thing apart. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take down this tree right here. And this tree. Look at how fast that thing grows. Whoa! <laughs> nice. And you're probably wondering, why are you going to do that? Because I'm going to make pumpkin pies. Dude, they give 45 minutes of buff. And it's a, lip, it's, a, it's a tiny bit better than the cooked fish, which only gives 20 minutes of buff. But 45 minutes, dudes, that's a long time. That's more than an episode for us, dudes. So, yeah. Okay, so... Blink root planter box. Uh, let's try and plant a blink root right here. Uh, let's see what happens if that thing becomes something cool. Okay. Yeah. Also, you've probably seen it in my tackle box. The enchanted uh, night crawlers. Those are just normal worms uh, combined with a star, a fallen star. And then you get the enchanted night crawler thingies. Uh, yeah. Um, you know what? Let's put these stars over here for now. Uh, oh. No, that's uh, I don't know why. I have an, I uh, have a sneaking suspicion that even though this one, look at that, already a pumpkin, but it needs to. Uh, it's not completely ripe yet. It needs. It needs to have that orange color thingy. Okay. Uh, I took one of these as my. Yeah, this is my new. Okay, let me try something. Okay, we don't have that one. Oh yeah, I got a summoner boss. A bar summons thingy here. I got two. We can summon him uh, multiple times now. But uh, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, it's actually a cool way to get fast up in speed. You know, there we go. But we do. Nice. Okay. Whoops. Gotta be careful. With what weapons and what stuff I have in my hand when I do different types of tasks. Um, do a head down here. On with these two again. These are my... Ooh, 19 in damage. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Bow. Over here. Got two more of those bombs. Yeah, and there's a... Okay. Um... Yeah, it's... We have reached that old wrapping up point, so... Well, we did get uh, we did down uh, the Eye of Cthulhu, so yeah. Uh, let me see. Do I get anything from selling these? Value, nada, shit, no, silk, no, nada. Okay, cool. And I still have all of the attributes that uh, these items give here. I just don't have the bonuses in green. So let's uh, go down. I usually always. Uh, Go down here after a recording and just uh, stand and gain a fuck ton of money. What are you doing, this stupid skeleton? No, you can't. You can't do it uh, downwards. Of course. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah. I forgot there's water here, but I'm pretty sure that if you were we're falling like that, uh, you would die. Hey, look at that. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Whoa. And this is what I mean, guys. Look at this. I can't jump over here onto a list because there is no list. But if I uh, click on the door and open it, I get pushed inside. And here is what I mean about the item stay no matter what. It's been a long time since I've been down here and the item's still here. 
Yeah, money is still here. So I just stand here and collect it because these are so stupid. They're going to jump in here. Going to die. All the money is here. Hence why I have all these banners, dude. Got a stupid uh, cave bat here. And here we have Medusa. We got a mother slime. Oh, he... Darn it. He didn't adjust, didn't. Yeah, the mother slime slime, and they are the small slimes uh, die. So, mother slime and the uh, black slimes uh, banners I have here. Tons of skeletons that come from up here. And Medusa, she's a pretty, she's a pretty hardcore bitch. So, she's actually gonna uh, take it like a champ, just run away here. And then suddenly, she's gonna be all pissed off and mean over here. And like, Wah! The die trader has come, and she's all like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Blah! Hey, nice. And these, uh, the burrows, the worms. They will always try to come up here, but can't. And uh, all around here, if you uh, look at map, all that I can see, they will spawn right out of my peripheral vision out here. Uh, there's uh, All of this is uh, uh, solid stone and solid rock, so they can't spawn here. They can spawn up here, go down into this lava pit right here, or spawn up here and go down into this lava pit right here. So, there's nowhere in my vicinity of where they can spawn that they can accumulate. They won't spawn over here or over here, only just here and up here. So, I got the best place for them to spawn and uh, yeah, they give me all the monies. So yeah, I'd like to say thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you Medusa for the 33 silver. And as always, catch on the flip side.